Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Denali and I'm a full-time reseller on eBay and Poshmark. My store and closet name is El Ducho, E-L-D-U-C-H-O, and you can find me on Instagram as El Ducho Thrift. Hi, it's been a while. <laughs> And this is a haul video, so it's really, really been a while. Um, I'm excited that I have a Goodwill Bins outlet haul to share with you all because I don't, I literally don't even know the last time I did an outlet haul. It could have been last year, which is wild to even say that. So I have one for you. I went to the outlet. I actually been going to the outlet off and on for the past couple of months, but just the way that my schedules work, I haven't had time to film hauls. In my mind, I film them and put them out for you guys, but it never actually happens. So I'm happy that I'm able to do it now. So anyways, um, before we get into the haul, I just wanted to make a little announcement really quick that my course on hiring a virtual assistant is currently on sale right now for, I believe it's only $50, which is a pretty darn good deal. Um, if you're interested in signing up for it, I will put a link in the description down below so you can check that out. But if you are looking to grow your reselling business, hiring help in your business, this is not a bot or anything like that. This is like a real live person to help you do work in your business. Um, I highly recommend checking it out. It will 2000% be beneficial to you because it was uh, definitely the number one thing that like took my business to the next level. So, but let's do my haul. So, <laughs> Um, it was an interesting day. So my outlets, let me explain to you really quick how my outlets have been working this past year since they reopened. Uh, you only get to be in there for one hour. So they do rotations every hour and you have to wait in line to get inside and there is a capacity. I'm not sure how many people equals capacity. It's not a lot to be honest with you. Um, and so you have to wait in line to get in. In the past month, month and a half, they have started doing like a ticket system because I live up here in the Pacific Northwest and we are at the mercy of rain and cold and all of the elements. And so sitting out there making people wait in the rain and the cold it wasn't very humane. So now they're doing like these, you can go up, you get a ticket and then you can sit in your car and then when it's time, you go get in line and you give them your ticket anyways, and then you go inside. So I met up with a friend of mine, socially distanced ourselves. We didn't hug. We didn't get, you know, up in each other's business. We wore masks. We wore gloves. I actually wore two masks and my friend wore um, two pairs of glasses. My friend was Lux Huntress. Ty, if you're not new to my channel, that name probably sounds familiar to you. So Anyways, um, it was mostly, to be honest, just to see each other. We This has not been a great year for seeing your reselling friends. So uh, this was an opportunity for us to spend a little bit of time together. But I ended up getting about, I think it was like 22 and a half pounds when they weighed it, which reminds me that I need to pay Ty for my half of of the order. Uh, we did weigh our stuff together because at my outlet, it gets cheaper by the pound. So I think we paid a dollar nine plus tax. So anyways, uh, that is what my bill essentially looked like. And like I said, we only had an hour because once you're in there, you shop and then they kick everybody out and you've got to go get back in line now. So it's not like you can go back in line with your original number. You've got to get back in line with whatever number they give to you. So this haul that I got is kind of mixed. I'm going to do a lot of different stuff with it and I'll explain my way through it as I go through it. <laughs> um, I don't think there was anything like crazy, like insane that I found. Just a lot of like really good bread and butter pieces that I'm happy with and some of the stuff I'm going to keep for myself. So starting with that theme of keeping for myself, sorry, I'm like, I just blew dry my hair and it feels... I don't know. Um, okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna keep for myself is this Brandy Melville t-shirt. It's just like a super duper soft black t-shirt. And I would resell it, but I think there's like a little spot down here that I probably could get out. I don't even know what that is. I should probably wash this again. But anyways, it's super soft. My shirt right now is from the bins too. It's a taco shirt. So yeah, keeping that Brandy Melville shirt for myself. Though I do like reselling Brandy Melville. 
I don't know that the resale value on it is as high as it was maybe a year or so ago. Um, but some pieces are still coveted, so it's always worth looking up. Okay, my ring light is so bright, you guys. This next item, this is a Pendleton button down. I don't know what the material is, cotton probably. I mean, it looks like denim, right? This is a fitted button down women's size large shirt. I don't pick up everything that's Pendleton, but I kind of just, I don't know, I love a denim shirt. You know, the whole denim on denim look, I think is, I don't know. It's kind of rugged and I kind of like it. And if <laughs> if you've ever heard of that term, Canadian tuxedo, yeah, that would be denim on denim. Okay, the next item is a pair of, these are loft jeans. And I thought these were really cute and they're in really good condition. They're a size 30 slash 10. What style are they? High waist skinny. It's got some of the details in there. But they're like a cropped ankle and I really liked this ankle it's like buttons or something like that it's like grommet things whatever I thought these were cute and I'm building a pile because this pile I actually think I was gonna do some like reseller boxes with this stuff so those two items I think I'm gonna put into the reseller boxes this item I'm gonna keep for myself this is a vintage sweatshirt I'm pretty sure it's vintage uh, it says Snowbird on there, which I don't know if this is in reference to a band or the term Snowbird, which I believe a Snowbird is somebody who leaves like a cold climate and goes to a hot climate in the wintertime. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what it is. It says screen print design is what's on the tag, but I'm going to keep this for myself. It does need to be, what's the word I'm looking for? Sweater shaved. And also there's like a little hole in it, but it's on the seam right here in the armpit. So I could stitch it or I could just keep it as is, but I don't know. I just thought it was cool. I don't know. <laughs> Thoughts? What do you think? Okay. The next item I'm gonna, I think I'm going to sell this because I don't think this will fit me, but I just had to pick it up. Sub pop is a record label up here in the Pacific Northwest. It is kind of pilly. So I'll sweater shave it, but I just couldn't let it there's so many good bands that have been signed to Sub Pop. I couldn't let this die. <laughs> this is a size medium. If you guys want anything from my hauls, just email me, <laughs> which I think all my information it will be in the description. Okay, this is a Lucky Brand top. I tend to pick up Lucky Brand pieces because people like it. And this is a size large. It's kind of like a salmon-y pink color. I don't know. It's got like boho vibes to it. So... Um, I think this will probably go into the reseller boxes that I do. This piece I would like to put in the reseller box, but I think there's like a little flaw on here and so I don't want to do it. So maybe I'll just keep this for me to wear. This is a We The Free, Free People Waffle Knit Long Sleeve Shirt. It's white, it's a size medium v-neck. Maybe I'll just keep it for me to wear because you know, a Free People medium is like a Free People triple XL. Sorry, I don't know if you can hear my couch squeaking, <laughs> but yeah. Um, okay, these are a pair of Miss Me jeans and I wouldn't probably pick up Miss Me in a regular thrift store because I think thrift stores just price it too high, but this was the bins and these were in great condition. So I was like, yeah, why not? Let's do it. And I liked, I don't wanna say I like this style, <laughs> but I liked that it was a skinny ankle style as opposed to I feel like I see a lot of boot cut and flare and I don't know maybe arguably flare is coming back but I like these better these this says cuffed skinny so I guess you could cuff them at the bottom size 29 I think I'll probably put these in this reseller box again that's a whole lot of denim I swear it gets more diverse this is one of my old favorites the brand cool k-u-h-l there's like a little thing sticking up there I think these are women's size 10. Um, they are like a Bermuda short and it's not technically shorts weather, but you know, it's always warmer somewhere else than it is where I am. Just where I am, cause it's cold where I am. <laughs> okay, this, at first I didn't know what it was, but thank goodness Ty was there. She helped me figure out what it was. Um, it's a sports bra, I knew that, but I didn't know what brand it was. And it looked kind of nice. Here it is. 
and she saw because they cut the tags off and I saw that they had these size notches here, which Lululemon does that and some other brands do it sometimes too, but definitely Fabletics does it. Ty could tell just by this little sliver of the tag that was left, which if you do look close enough, it's Fabletics. So this actually might fit me. So I'm going to keep that. <laughs> There's a fair amount of keep in this, <laughs> in this haul. Okay. These are a pair of Torrid shorts. These are a size 16. I think I'm going to also put those in to a reseller box. Oh, my leg. Okay. I think I snuck two items in here that I maybe picked up a different day at the outlet, but I was just like, I'll show you them anyways, because they're for me. I got this one. Mama needs a beer. So maybe the next haul video, I'll wear that one. <laughs> and then uh, this LuLaRoe shirt. It's like a raglan tee. I don't know. I kind of liked this print and I would, it's soft and I'll wear it around the house. So anyways, those are for me, but any, you don't care about that part. Okay. Next item is this Zella zip up athletic jacket with like the ruched sleeves. It's got this zipper, which I've actually never seen this style. This zipper goes almost all the way to the elbow, which is interesting. This is a size medium. I think I'm going to put this also in my reseller box that I'm going to make. Um, these will also probably go in there. Oh my gosh, the ring light is so bright, you guys. You can't see the tag, but this is soft surroundings. I swear I wasn't flipping you off there. They're a size medium and they're a black legging with, what's that stripe that runs or seam that runs down the front or the middle of the leg. Anyways, yeah, those are gonna go in there. This is gonna go in there. It is a Lucky Brand top, size small, kind of hard to see. But it's got this cool print that I kind of liked. And it is like, it's a little faded, but I kind of think that's part of the style. And then it's got a little tie area here in the front. Okay. Oh yeah, this I will also put into the box. This is a new with tags. Oh my gosh, where is the front? New with tags, old navy, maxi dress. This is a size, I can't. I don't know if you can see it. Medium tall, but I actually think this is really cute. The stripes are going the right way because that's it's slimming if you go down. I love finding new with tag stuff at the bins because it's like, you're not supposed to be here. <laughs> Let me take you home with me. Okay, um, next, speaking of new with tag, so that's gonna go in the box. Boxes, it's probably gonna be a couple at this point. This is a Banana Republic blouse, size small. Again, new with tags. This one was originally $69.50. It's kind of an ivory, kind of yellowy ivory color. And I'm curious. Oh, this says it's from fall uh, or May of 2014. But I don't know, it's in great condition. Somebody probably just kept it in their closet for too long. And then, another Banana Republic piece. I wonder if it was from the same person's closet. This one's again new with tags. This one doesn't say the price on it. Um, what year? Oh, this one says December 2019. And it's got this like paper bag, drawstring style waist. Ooh, kind of like a jogger. These are really cute. So I think I'll put those also in the boxes. Okay, this I thought was cute knit plus size piece, which is great. It's mod cloth. It's a size 2X and it's just this knit coral and ivory sweater that you could um, layer over like a camisole or something. Oh, let's see. Oh yeah, I like this one too. This is a blank NYC jacket. This is a size medium, I think it said. Um, and it's got this like faux leather paneling on the back, on the sides. And then it does this like, I'm sorry, you can't really see it very well, but like an asymmetrical zip. So yeah, there's that. Okay, I don't know if this is men's or women's. Now I kind of think this is a men's. And I was planning on putting it in a box. I feel like I saw like a hair there. Ew, this needs to get washed. 
we're gonna put this in a wash pile. Anyways, it's a J. Crew size large sweater and it's from spring of 2020. This is from this year. Like, how are you already at the outlet? And it's 31% alpaca. I actually saw two of them. There was like a dark blue one, but that one was more beat up. This one's in better condition. Okay. I did pick up some vintage pieces too. I, let me see if there's more modern. Hold on. Let me get the rest of the modern stuff out and then I'll save my vintage for the last bit. Okay. This, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. <laughs> If you want this, let me know. This is a Torrid size two. Maybe I thought about keeping it for myself, but I don't know if it's gonna be too big. Torrid size two, hooded, ruched sides, top. I don't know. I thought maybe I could just wear it to the office or something. Okay, this, oh yeah, this I'm gonna put in the boxes also. This is the, I should keep these, these are cute. <laughs> no, yes, no. The brand is, mm, how do we say this, Lease? Liss, Lisse, whatever it is, faux leather style, whatever this is, leggings, and they're new with tags. These retail for $108 at Nordstrom, and they're size extra large, which that's why I was like, should I keep these? Because they would totally fit me. So those are going to be in boxes. I'm sorry, the boxes might be sold by the time I release this video. So follow me on Instagram, because that's where I always post stuff. Uh, I do put up boxes from time to time. So if you're curious how to buy the boxes, I probably sold them, I'm guessing. Um, but follow me on Instagram to find out more information. Okay, I picked up a few vintage pieces as well. This is a vintage express tag. Um, yeah, this is what it looks like. This says size 11, 12. But I just loved this dress. I don't know if it was supposed to have a slip underneath here. It is short, it's not like a midi or a maxi. It's 100% rayon. And am I going to sell it myself? No, uh, <laughs> I don't know, maybe. For a while I was actually consigning some vintage pieces with um, my friend Laura, but um, now that her Goodwills have opened and she's able to source for herself, that partnership we're not doing it anymore, which understandably she wants to source her own stuff. However, I might reach out to some like vintage resellers and see if they want to buy some of my inventory off me. They might not want to, but they also might want to. So, and I do come across cool pieces from time to time. I love vintage, but it's just like not my thing to sell it. So, I also got this really cool, I think it's a midi style dress. Let me see, I just loved this print. Look at this. It's so cool looking. I don't know if it's like floral or like, looks like a half moon. It's that brand, All That Jazz. If you've been in a thrift store, you've probably seen it before. This is again, 100% rayon. It's a size seven, eight. It does have these shoulder pads inside here, which are kind of amazing. And then it buttons up the back. There is a belt for it, which is great. And yeah, it's kind of slim. It's fitted at the waist. Is there pockets? I don't see pockets. But anyways, I just loved the print on that one so much. That's why I had to get it. And then this is probably the best thing I got. If you already saw a little sneak peek of it, look at this leather jacket with the fringe this is insane and it's like in pretty dang good condition the back the fringe is braided into the leather i mean right blah i just died when i saw this i was like why are you here you're so pretty so the only like big flaw with this that i would say is that it did have a liner and the liner is no longer here. And additionally, there's no sizing information that I have seen so far. There's two inside pockets here, but I don't see any information there. Oh wait, no, hold on. Oh, it's a size large. Listen, I need to not try this on because I need to sell stuff. I'm in the business, the reselling business, not the keeping business or storage business. So. 
that's my haul, you guys. Uh, it was really fun. It's been so much fun to go back to the outlet and source there. It's just an eternal treasure hunt. If you're a bin shopper, you would agree. Um, but it's so wonderful getting to see you guys again and spend this time with you. And hopefully there's more videos from me soon. Fingers crossed. Hope you all are doing wonderful. Have a great rest of your day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.